my channel. Thank you so much for all the support you've been giving it so far. It really does mean a lot. Today's video is a tag video, as you've probably guessed from the title. But this is a tag that I got tagged in about three years ago and I never really got around to filming it. So I'm going to do it for you today because I think it is long overdue. It is the British tag. So I've got my cup of tea and today's mug of choice is this really quirky mug from the Smiler Ride at Alton Towers, bigger than my head. Hopefully this video won't be too long so I'm going to stop rumbling and we'll get cracking. Question number one, how many cups of tea do you have a day and how many sugars? So I have one sugar and a little bit <laughs> and it depends really. I drink tea when I'm cold, so if I'm really cold, I'll drink more cups of tea in the day. I'm probably not very British at all, actually. Question number two. Favourite part of your roast? Wow. It changes. I do love a good Yorkshire. I do love a good Yorkshire pudding, and I really do like my roast potatoes as well. So, yeah, probably... Ooh. Fixing blankets at Christmas though, they are the best part of a roast. But typically on a Sunday, Yorkshire puddings or roast potatoes. Question number three, favourite Dunkin' Biscuit? Now, me and Scott have this debate <laughs> on a regular basis when we have tea and biscuits. His favourite is rich tea and ginger nuts. And I'm, I can be quite partial to a ginger nut, but a rich tea, in my opinion, is the worst biscuit you can have possibly get. No offence to anybody that likes rich tea, but it doesn't fit in your cup, it goes soggy too quick and then you've got to get a spoon to shovel it out and it doesn't really taste of anything. It's one of the most blandest biscuits I know. So favourite Dunkin' Biscuit for me would probably be a bourbon, although I have got a thing for malted milk biscuits at the minute. Mm. I need to get some. Favourite quintessentially British pastime? God, you couldn't say that after you've had a couple of drinks, could you? Quintessentially. Too big a word for me, that. Jeez, that's not in my vocabulary. Vocabulary isn't in my vocabulary. I can't even say it. I don't really know. I would probably say... Sitting on the sofa, wrapped up in cosy blankets, drinking tea, while it's raining outside, a bit like today, watching my soaps. I do love a bit of EastEnders and Coronation Street, I have to admit. Favourite word? Now, Scott and I took a trip to Skegness last year and we were talking about how fun it would be to go on the paddle boats that they've got there. And to this day, I still believe he made the word up but he was talking about how it depended on how much buoyancy the boats had and I've got to be honest, I've never heard anyone come out with the word buoyancy and I still pretty much to this day think he made it up just to make me look like an idiot. I thought he had just said bouncy in a really weird way but apparently it's a word according to him. I'm going to look it up after this video and actually find out what it means. Cockney rhyming in slang. That's not really a question, is it? Well, Cockney rhyming in slang is a bit like apples and pears, meaning stairs. I don't really... I live in Leicestershire, so we don't really have Cockney rhyming in slang here. Favourite sweet? God, there's a few. Although I'm not really a sweet person, I'm more of a savoury person. But favourite sweet, I love, I finally, I bought some rosy apples in this really cute old fashioned sweet shop in Ireland and I finally finished them. They were quite nice, rosy apples, they were my of my childhood. Now I don't know if you can get these anymore, which is a shame because I absolutely love them, but cherry drops by, I think they were from... I want to say Bertie Bassett. I could be wrong though, because I've not seen them for years. We do have an old fashioned sweet shop in Leicester though, so I might go and take a trip into there the next time we go into town to see if we can get some. But I do love a good cherry drop. So if you're from the UK or England or 
anywhere that has seen the Bertie Bassets. I think they were Bertie Bassets. The Cherry Drops. Please let me know in the comments because I've not had them for years and they really are my favourite. Question number eight. What would your pub be called? Now this I think is a really tricky question. I don't know. As I briefly mentioned in my first video, I am obsessed with unicorns, so it would have to have something about unicorns in there. The Unicorn Inn? Maybe something unicorn related, although I'm pretty sure there is a pub in Loughborough called The Unicorn. Uh, maybe I can't have that. Maybe I'd have to think of something Harry Potter related instead. Number one British person. Again, not really a question, but number one British person. I love Ant and Deck. I realise that's two people and not one person, but I've grown up with Ant and Deck since I was, I want to say, seven or eight, back in the days of SMTV Live, which was just amazing. Brilliant Saturday morning TV. Um, so, yeah, I think. I've got a couple actually thinking about it. Anton Deck, definitely. Rowan Atkinson is an absolute legend. That's gonna be a sad day when they're people, when they're for me, anyway. Number 10, favorite shop or restaurant? Favorite restaurant, I've only been twice and I wouldn't really say it's my favorite, but I've recently been craving the sweet corn fritters from Turtle Bay, just, Wow. I attempted to make them myself and they were okay, they worked, but they weren't as spicy as the Turtle Bay ones. They're really nice and their fries, oh my gosh, their fries are to die for. I love Frankie and Venice as well. I'm a huge American Italian food fan. I think in another life I was Italian. Just my love for pasta and pizza is just out of this world. Chiquitos, oh my god, how did I not? Think of just Chiquitos. There we go. Favorite restaurant is Chiquitos. I love Mexican food, and their nachos are to die for. They're just their chorizos. Oh, God, I'm hungry. I need to get some food after this video. Um, favorite shop. Probably Primark and New Look. I have discovered a new love for Primark and if you haven't seen my latest Primark haul I'll pop the link to that video in the description if you want to go check that out. It's crazy that it's over 300 views now. Like I realise that's not a lot compared to some of the big YouTubers but I never thought in a million years that one of my videos would get that many views it's crazy so thank you so much to everybody that's gone and checked that video out i really do appreciate it i don't know if you can hear that but that that is the rain what british song pops into your head british song. at the minute i'm all about ed sheeran i haven't got his album just yet but i've recently been listening to galway girl on youtube it came on the radio um, the other day and I'm trying to avoid spoilers until I get until I get the album so I'm not actively looking out for tracks on YouTube I'll see if it comes on the radio if it does and I like it then I will then go and look at it on YouTube I really do need to get my ass in gear and go to HMV and buy his new album it's got quite an Irish feel to it I think that's why I like it so much but British song pops into your head. Talking about Anton Deck, I remember, does anyone remember the song they did? I think it was for the football or World Cup or something. Was it called On the Ball? We're on the ball. We're on the ball. That's all I remember. <laughs> they were in a pub and that's how it went. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go for that. Or the other football song. I can't think of how it goes. Three lines on a shirt. Three lines on a shirt. Yeah, that song. And finally, question number 12, which again isn't really a question, it just says Marmite. So I'm guessing that's a, are you a love it or a hate it? Now, I'm a really complicated person, if you like. I'm not a 
person that loves my mite, but I'm not a person that hates my mite. I would quite happily sit and eat a bag of Twiglets until the cows come home. Honestly, I love them. On toast though, or any other form of my mite, I could have a little bit of my mite on my toast. It's not my go-to choice. I would much rather have Nutella or a toasty of some sort. Um, but yeah. I, I don't hate it and I don't love it. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have please be sure to give it a thumbs up and remember to click that subscribe button for future videos. I'm also going to tag three people to do the British tag. My beautiful friend Izzy who also has a blog called A Dose of Chatter and my two blogging friends Katie from A Little Miss Katie and Becky from Becky Hughes blog. So come on girls, I want to see those videos up very soon. I can't wait to hear your answers and I will see you next Sunday. Bye! Jeez, how many times am I going to say tagged in this, in this video? <laughs>